World Environment Day was designated by the UN in 1972 to raise awareness about protecting the environment. A special event was held in Seoul involving ordinary citizens to celebrate this day. Our Ko Ryuni was there to check it out. Almost a thousand people gathered at a park in Seoul on Tuesday to celebrate World Environment Day. The celebration centered on the main theme of this year's World Environment Day, plastic pollution. It kicked off with a speech by Prime Minister Lee nak If a product can't be recycled, manufacturers should be careful about producing it in the first place. Every producer should think about how their behavior can affect the environment. The Prime Minister also commended certain companies, civic groups and educational institutions for their outstanding efforts in the area. A representative of a local environmental group said plastic pollution is a pressing matter for South Korea. Per capita, South Korea uses the most plastic in the world. Each person goes through 130 kilograms of plastic a year. This huge amount of plastic has nowhere to go now. In 2016, the country as a whole threw out 2.65 million tons of plastic waste, a 46 percent increase compared to 2011. Only 30 to 40 percent of plastic waste in 2016 was recycled. Participants said Tuesday's event caused them to reflect on their own behavior. I like plants, so I use plastic cups as flower pots. Today, I learned that I should replace the cups with real flower pots and try not to use plastic. The ministry ensured the refreshments were in keeping with the spirit of the day. Moving away from plastic, visitors can get free coffee if they bring their own multi-use cup or tumbler. The ministry prepared hands-on interactive experience booths, where they learned about things like upcycling, which is the process of transforming waste into new products of better quality or that have better environmental value. I made this pencil cap. My kids buy ones made of plastic. However, I think this recycled one looks and feels better. The ministry says it plans to communicate more with the public, like this, when coming up with concrete plans to reduce plastic waste. Ko Arirang News.